Hello everybody, this is Pitch Gold Black here, and welcome back to another transmission, in which today I'm going to be doing a CD review on the classic radio sci-fi serial, The Slide, written by Victor Pemberton. This review today is one of two videos on my channel that will be celebrating 100,000 video views on it, which is just a crazy, crazy figure to think about and I would like to thank you all so much for helping me reach that pretty colossal milestone of video views on the channel. I know it's not as big as some other people's um, like view count obviously but just to think that something out of hobby that I do has reached that kind of massive milestone on YouTube is pretty amazing and I just want to thank you all so much for that. As I said, this is the first of two videos to celebrate that and this today is more of a kind of warm-up video towards the main one, which will be my next uh, video, another early science fiction review. But either way, let us progress with today's video, which is a CD review on the classic radio sci-fi release, The Slide, by Victor Pemberton. So for the front cover, we have BBC Audio, classic radio sci-fi, The Slide, written by Victor Pemberton, the original BBC radio drama serial, three CDs with a running time of three hours and 30 minutes. And for the front cover itself, we have one of the mud-possessed zombies in front of a massive kind of mud explosion in the kind of clearing of a forest area. It's a very uh, striking and wonderful uh, cover art overall and one thing that I will say about the um, kind of CD count and the run length here now is this this is a seven part radio serial and each episode is about 30 minutes in length and how they release this is the first CD is the first two episodes and then the last two CDs uh, both contain roughly two and a half episodes per disc. Then for the spine of the release we have BBC Audio, Classic Radio, Sci-Fi, The Slide and then the BBC logo down there. And then for the back we have a condensing of the cover art at the top there and a couple sort of random bits on the side there with a synopsis here and the original BBC radio drama serial here with three CDs running time, three hours and 30 minutes again here. Now for the synopsis on this radio serial. Maurice Denham, Roger Delgado, David Spencer and Miriam Margulies star in an atmospheric BBC full cast drama from Doctor Who writer Victor Pemberton. Listen, quiet, everybody stand still for a minute. There's something. Can't you hear it? During an abnormal heat wave in March, the air becomes thick and dull. Nothing moves. You can almost hear the silence. Something was bound to happen. Redlow, a new town in Kent, was the dream of self-made man Hugh Deverell, MP. At a crowded and restless town meeting, Janet Marshall faints due to the stifling atmosphere. She is helped by her friend, Dr. Ken Richards, just as a sudden earthquake tears the room apart. A long, deep crack in a road is discovered nearby, and powerful tremors are felt along the south coast. When torrents of seething mud start emerging from the fissure, scientist Joseph Gomez is called in. The mud contains a special organism that can control people's minds, and it can kill. Declared a disaster area, Redlow becomes a state of emergency, then other fissures appear. Long absent from the BBC's archives, this digitally remastered recording of the slide features Roger Delgado, who went on to play the master in Doctor Who. This CD release also includes a detailed sleeve note recounting the making of the radio serialisation, written by Andrew Pixley. So then for the interior of this release, we have the first CD there, and behind that we've just got a kind of full version of the cover art, and then there we've got the booklet, 
and the last two CDs in this release here and behind CD3 we have advertisements for other releases in the classic radio sci-fi uh, range of releases that BBC has done and then here you have the booklet with this kind of exact same cover art then here you've got a bit about the recording and the cast and credits there with the track listing on the right hand side here with a bit of thanks to Victor Pemberton whose personal recordings of the slide have been used to create these CDs and then there you've got a bit about the program itself Radio Times billings for the original radio broadcast for all seven of the episodes very nice and on the back there you've got a bit about BBC Audio and other kind of titles and ranges in their audiobook releases. So with the presentation and kind of showcase of this CD release over and done with, what are my overall thoughts and opinions on Victor Pemberton's The Slide? Back in 1964, Doctor Who was a fresh and new show by the BBC. It was at this time that Victor Pemberton proposed a storyline based around his own fears of earthquakes, whilst incorporating a threat to humanity via this sentient mud. This was rejected at the time by the script editor David Whittaker. However, it was suggested that Victor may have better luck with getting it made into a radio serial. Roughly a year later, in 1965 and or 1966, his idea for a Doctor Who serial, now titled The Slide, was made into a full cast radio serial and broadcasted in seven half an hour parts. From the 13th of February through to the 27th of March 1966, starring David Spencer, Maurice Stenham and Roger Delgado, the latter of which would become pretty synonymous with Doctor Who in the 1970s. During the same year as the drama was broadcasted, Victor Pemberton worked as a script editor for Doctor Who, working on The Evil of the Daleks through to the Web of Fear. In this time, he suggested a storyline, essentially a reworking of the slide to producer Peter Bryant. Commissioned for a story entitled Doctor Who and the Colony of Devils, but later retitled The Fury from the Deep, changing several parts and making alterations but keeping a lot. One of the most interesting parallels to me is that the slide's sixth episode, Time Limit, has the line, Battle of Giants, which would not only be reused wholly in Fury from the Deep, but also became a chapter title for that story's adaptation into a book in the 1980s, which Pemberton also wrote. I think that those who know of the slide and like Doctor Who will probably most associate it with Fury from the Deep. Whereas this I would say is a fair thing, as the serial most definitely has elements of it, I would also say that it has strong elements of the third Doctor story, Inferno, as well as it feeling quite like a story from the seventh season of the show, and the John Pertwee era on the whole, as it has a lot of governmental elements and aspects to its storyline, which I would say is very well articulated and brought forward by the character Hugh Deverell, the MP of Redlow Newtown, which is where this story is primarily set. I decided to explore this radio serial recently as, I guess you could say, the TV counterpart, Colony of Devils, is my second favourite Doctor Who story of all time, with it being not too far behind The Enemy of the World, my absolute favourite. I was really curious about what would be brought to the table here overall, I was admittedly half expecting something very similar to Fury, but what it is instead is something that, yes, does have elements of it, but is enough of its own story to make it a worthwhile and stand out as a different entity from Colony. Sure, there's a lot of the same storyline, concepts and ideas, but here you have things like the governmental edge, which the other didn't really. Plus, I would actually say that the slide is scarier than Fury from the Deep, with the performances being more disturbing, twisted and horrid. Big example of this is in my personal favourite episode, the fifth, entitled Danger Point. The middle of this episode is one huge 10 minute centrepiece of this town meeting slash conference that the MP Hugh is hosting. 
Maurice's performance as the character throughout the entire s story is incredible, but this is where it really shines in my opinion, and is the golden moment for the role. In full possession of the mud, Devil becomes so unhinged and completely mad by the tail end of the story, which is shown here so well with this really unsettling line, the sun is no longer the creator. As I just hinted at, there is this possession type of element throughout the story thanks to the mud having this mind control ability, and the performances from the people that are under its influence are incredible, main example being Maurice Stenham's Hugh, as this is the most displayed character of this psycho telekinetic aspect throughout, but other characters in this story such as Elizabeth Proud and Stephen Jack give excellent possessed performances as their characters. The scenes of them being afraid of sunlight as well are pretty chilling, particularly the ones between Hugh and his wife in the tail end episodes. One of which I'd like to highlight is in the sixth episode where the control forces Mr. Deverell to unravel about his childhood and how his father punished him by locking him in the cellar, with Maurice giving such a spine chilling performance during this sequence. One of the most interesting things about this story is the characters. The main direction and idea for the story, in my view, is to showcase whether a small town was besieged by an extraterrestrial disaster, and the panic, fear of the unknown, and turmoil that its occupants would face. As such, the characters, in my opinion, aren't the deepest or most fleshed out, I would have said, with the exception of you. But to me, it doesn't really matter as the story itself more than does a good job of uprooting these everyday people and plunging them into peril. Oh, you can't care about the characters then, there's nothing to root for. That's not the point of the story to have characters to root for in that particular sense. The point is to showcase an everyday town being disturbed to the point of complete pandemonium, and to feature its characters panicking as the characterial driving force of this story. It is also interesting to note that there are three main characters of this story in my opinion, being Hugh Deverell, Joseph Gomez and Dr Ken Richards. The story very much articulates and swings around their characters, and I guess one could say that there are various points within the story that one of the three are very much the main character for a portion of the runtime. Deverell is very much portrayed as a very powerful character within this story, with a high state within the main town that the story is set in with him having built it. This makes his descent into the controlled figure become even more interesting in my opinion, as he was well known for being friendly with the townsfolk and a lover of people, but with his possession he starts to hate people more and more as the mud gains its control, which in turn leads to some great scenes with his wife. Roger Delgado's character Joseph Gomez is fantastic as well. He is brought in to scientifically analyse the mud and to determine how it's mutating and transforming, which leads to him very much feeling like a character plucked straight out of John Pertwee's era of Doctor Who, funnily enough, particularly Liz Shaw from Season 7. This also in turn leads to two nice homages to the cult sci-fi horror film The Blob from the 1950s, with the story showcasing the mud growing in a similar way to how the titular entity did and also with a scene of the mud appearing behind a cinema. Dr Ken Richards is one of the first characters we get to see in this story, and he's absolutely fantastic, with him providing some great logical moments of thought towards the scenario, and I would have said that he is the main focus of the story, with regards to how it showcases the citizens being affected in terms of loved ones being influenced by the mud. Another fantastic thing to this story is the imagery that it has, as the way it describes everything creates such a chilling and disturbing atmosphere and listen. One of the best examples of this being the cliffhanger to the fourth episode and the final showdown in episode 7, which reminds me quite a bit of the 1970s sci-fi horror movie Invasion of the Body Snatchers quite a bit. Overall this slide by Victor Pemberton is simply an incredible listen and very much feels like early Doctor Who, a story that would fit into season 7 of the show very well, with a lot of dark and disturbing elements to it of horror and possession. The way this story wraps up also very much feels like an ending to a Doctor Who serial as well in my opinion. The final showdown and conclusion to the saga is absolutely incredible in my opinion, 
which mainly makes the seventh episode my second favourite of the bunch. But this is also mainly thanks to the incredible speech in the epilogue given by Roger Delgado, which ends the story on a very fitting and almost philosophical note. The only real negative I have with the audio is that the cliffhangers are a bit repetitive for the first three episodes, but other than that, simply put, this is an incredible listen. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 as of now, but I wouldn't be surprised if this climbs up to a 10 at some point. It's an absolutely fantastic and wonderful listen that I would highly recommend if you're a fan of Fury from the Deep, Inferno or just early Doctor Who in general.